My name is Trey Wilbanks, and I'm here to speak to you on behalf of the Gateway Elders. I really wish that I could sit down with each one of you individually and talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Standing before you right now may be the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. So I ask for your grace as I speak to you today because I'm going to speak to you personally, as a father, as a husband, and a non-staff elder since 2014. I'm gonna to try to speak to you from my heart today, so I wrote my thoughts down to make sure I say exactly what I want to say. My wife, Shelly, and I have seven children, including six girls. As a father, what has happened is extremely disturbing. And I'm experiencing a wide range of emotions like you. As an elder, I did not know the truth. And frankly, like so many of you, my wife and I are shocked devastated and grieving. Firstly, I'd like to express my personal compassion for Cindy Clemenshire. I can't imagine carrying a burden like that for so many years. And I want to say to you, Cindy, I'm so sorry. I'm also very sensitive to anyone else in this room or anyone who is listening who's experienced abuse. I know that there are many in this room, at our other campuses, and many watching online who have their own horrific abuse story. And I want to speak to you. I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry. I cannot imagine the pain and the emotions that this past week has stirred inside of you as you felt betrayed. And on behalf of the elders, we're sorry. This past week, the Board of Elders accepted the resignation of our senior pastor, Robert Morris. Our tagline at Gateway Church is we're all about people. And you can't be all about people if you aren't committed to protecting people. We are committed to protecting people. First and foremost, children and the most vulnerable. Simply put, abuse in any form cannot be tolerated. And we as elders have the responsibility to do whatever it takes to learn the truth. And I want you to know that as your elders, we are deeply committed to walking in integrity and finding the truth. We moved quickly this week to hire an independent outside law firm to conduct a comprehensive and independent inquiry into this entire situation the elders and you must know the facts and we must enforce accountability. <laughs> Having this review completed by an independent outside organization is critical and we will report back to you once their work is complete. And please know that the Board of Elders is fully cooperating with this independent work which has already begun. And I ask that we all be patient while we give them time to do their work. Now I want to get very personal and I apologize if I get emotional. As I said before, I'm a father of six girls and this has been a difficult thing to explain to them this past week. And our family this past week, like all of you, has shed tears had heavy conversations, 
and we've been in deep prayer. We've prayed for Cindy Clemenshire. We prayed for her family. We've prayed for the entire Morris family. We're praying for you. And we're praying for our staff and our whole church family. Our family has been going to Gateway Church for 18 years. We go to Gateway Church not because of a building or a person. Our family goes to this church because we've seen the Lord move here. Our family goes here because we're inspired by you and the work that you do to those who are in need and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our family goes here because of the deep relationships that we've formed with close friends who help us grow closer to Christ. Our kids met Jesus here. Some of our kids have been baptized here. All of our kids have been transformed by the student's ministry. I'm aware that many in this room have seen their marriages saved because of the healing power of Jesus showing up in our marriage ministry. Many in this room have overcome depression and iniquity because of Kairos. And many of us have made it through unthinkable and painful circumstances because of our grief ministry. So what about the future of our church? Frankly, this past week, I've just been trying to get through each day. And there are a lot of unknowns. The truth is, I don't know what God's plans are. But I know that I'm going to continue to worship the Lord. And I'm gonna worship the Lord in this place. Jesus said, I will build my church. I want to remind you, this is his church. This is Jesus' church. <laughs> and the elders are humbly and firmly submitted to what he wants to do with this church. I believe the Lord built Gateway Church. And I believe that the Lord worked through all of you to build Gateway Church. He worked through our altar ministry. He worked through our marriage ministry. He worked through our children's workers. He's worked through our prophetic ministry. He's worked through our parking attendants. He's worked through our greeters. He's worked through the staff and all of the volunteers at Gateway Church. So my encouragement to you today is to take these upcoming days, weeks, months, and turn your hearts to our Lord and Savior. Let us remember Jesus' specific commands, that we love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, all of our strength, and that we love others. This is our important responsibility, to follow the Lord Jesus regardless of the season, mountain or desert. And I believe he will lead us together through this. I'm clinging to the word of God right now. His word is a lamp unto my feet. He will never leave us or forsake us. He is near to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. 
and he sat enthroned in the flood. We're praying for you all. We love you. We appreciate you and we're thankful that you're here today. May I pray for you? Lord Jesus, we worship you, we praise you, and we lift your name on high. You are worthy of our praise regardless of the season. And we worship you in this difficult time. You don't owe us anything, yet you've turned your heart toward us in a mighty way through your son, Jesus. And now, Lord, we cling to you. We cling to you in this difficult season. Would you wrap us in your love and comfort us in the ways only you can? Heal us, Father. Heal us of our brokenness. Create in us a clean heart and help us as we battle unforgiveness and doubts. Wrap us in your love and lead us, Father. Help us not to be given into bitterness and have your way in this place, Lord. We love you, amen. Thank you.